What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Yes guys, you're not mistaken. We're battling everybody in the Elite Four, and we're battling our girlfriend, Cynthia, that's right. All in one episode, because hey man, it's finally time to get this over with. It's been a while. So anywho guys, uh, originally I wanted to leave you guys with the choice of picking me an all-star cast of uh, Pokemon from the last few walkthroughs that I've actually done. Mainly because, uh, yeah, you can capture most of the Pokemon that I've had in, uh, over the years or over the walkthroughs uh, right here in Pokemon Platinum. Plus, the Pal Park enables me to actually, you know, include some of these Pokemon uh, to this game. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do that on my PC. That, and I didn't really want to wait very, very long to actually come out with this last episode. So I decided to just pick an All Star cast myself. Now, mind you, a lot of these Pokemon that I've captured. They're at the same level that I left them in their previous walkthroughs, like Pokemon Crystal, uh, Yellow, Leaf Green, you know, Emerald. They're at the exact same level that I left them. Don't worry, guys. I didn't overpower them so I can sweep through these guys. Trust me. 46 minutes long. There's a reason why it's long right here because, God, Cynthia. My main challenge. I still love her, though. So... Yeah, let's go right ahead and take a look at our new team, our all-star cast, to finish out this whole walkthrough right here. So, here we go. As you can see, Nessie, Relic, Godzilla, Raiden, Toothless, and Shroom Lee have been picked. Now, the inspiration for all these Pokemon that I've chosen was the whole dual typing thing. I really do love Pokemon with dual types. Nessie, of course, is both a water and ice type Pokemon. And if you may have remembered in Pokemon Crystal, level 73, here we have Relic, the Psychic type Pokemon. I also use them in Pokemon Crystal. Now, many of you guys are wondering, where did you get uh, an Espeon? Well, we got Eevee right here. I just evolved it and, you know, grew it to the same level that my old Relic was back in Pokemon Crystal. Now, the next Pokemon right here is our good old buddy, Godzilla Godzilla. Oh, yes. This Pokemon right here, I love. And it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a, a complete team without him. And here we have Raiden. Now, I know that I didn't finish off with Raiden, but I did leave him at the same level that, you know, it's the Pokemon that replaced it was in. The only Pokemon that I kept on this team from my original one is Toothless right here because, trust me, it's going to serve its purpose. And then it finishes it off with Shroom Lee right here, one of my favorite grass slash fighting type Pokemon. So... This is the all-star team that I'm going to be finishing off this walkthrough with. And, uh, well, we already know who we're going to be battling first, guys. So, who better to take the lead than our good old buddy, Godzilla Godzilla. That's right. So, let's go right ahead and take on all these Elite Four members. Get done with this walkthrough and start our Pokemon Black walkthrough like we need to. So, here it is. We're going to be facing off Eren first. And he is a Bug-type trainer. And, uh, well... Strongest bug type trainer that we will will ever face. I don't even know, but here it is, guys. Battle number one in the Elite Four battle against Elite Four Aaron. Now remember, when you face the Elite Four again, their Pokemon are souped up and they have uh, well, some of them may have evolved into their final form. As you can see, here we have Yanmega, level 65, murder to fight. Oh yeah, and here we have Godzilla doing its pimpage right here, keeping its pimp hand strong kicking the Omega's ass. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited by using all these Pokemon right here, guys. It, 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 you know, it brings back memories. Now, uh, you know, again, it, ever since I, I learned that I can actually use the, uh, the Pal Park here, and it, it, it enabled me to do so, that's what got the idea going that maybe I should, maybe I should finish off this whole walkthrough with an all-star cast of Pokemon uh, just as, like, you know, a celebration of four complete walkthroughs and uh, four successful teams. Of course, many of you guys are wondering, okay, how did you get how did you get Godzilla? It's pretty simple, guys. I have him in Leaf Green. I, you know, have him in Leaf Green, and it's one of the Pokemon that I've wanted to use. You know, that's why I transferred him over from the Pal Park. Uh, you guys already seen the walkthrough episode of it, so it's like it's no biggie right there. And it is one of the Pokemon that I've always wanted to use right here. And as you can see, Vespiqueen is using that Dark Order or that defense order right here and uh wow it's making my life a little bit of a living hell right here but you guys will be interested like you guys will will be surprised of how this how this whole this whole episode ended and as you can see godzilla not struggling at all just destroying this vespa queen right here 
And, uh, well, we got one more move to go, so let's go right ahead and use another flamethrower just to finish this guy off. Or this chick off. Remember, Vespa Queen. The only way you can get a Vespa Queen is through a, uh, female home, uh, ho or combi. Yes. So there you go. Vespa Queen defeated. That's right. And here he comes out with a Heracross, another, another bug-type Pokemon. So again, a lot of these trainers, souped-up Pokemon, level 60s and above. And then once you face Sen once you fin uh, face Cynthia, that's where the Pokemon get a little stronger. Oh my god. Now another thing too guys, this is probably the inspiration, or not the inspiration, but this is probably uh, the motivation for me to actually uh, do all the Elite Four battles all in one episode because I didn't want to spend more, uh, any more time you know, separating these episodes piece by piece and all that stuff like I did in the past. Uh, many of you guys already know and uh, many of you guys who have been with me since I was Draven XC711, you guys already knew that I spent about three years trying to complete this specific walkthrough uh, back then. Uh, I changed up a lot of stuff. I did stuff that I shouldn't have done. Uh, a lot of you guys already know. And uh, this right here, I would like to say it's a culmination of, uh, you know, a job well done. In my opinion, it's a job well done because... You know, I did things the right way. I did it in a short amount of time, and uh, you know, I found the time. I actually found some good time to to do this whole walk. And uh, the other thing too, a lot of positives came out of this. So, you know, uh, very happy with the way this whole thing is going to end. And uh, again, I love the way how uh, we're going to finish off right here because look at that, destroyed the Drapion with one hit. That's right. That's how you do it. And there we go, we defeat the first Elite Four member, and that's Eren, and that, normally he's the easiest Pokemon trainer to battle. For me, well, for most of you, it's a bug type trainer. For me, it's the ground slash rock slash fighting type trainer, because, yeah, they, I don't know, for some strange reason, it's just like, they have so many weaknesses. So, the next trainer right here is going to be that old lady that uses ground type, right? Yes, I was right. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and showcase another one from the past, and that happens to be Nessie. So, she's like, well, well, my name is Bertha. If you don't remember, I use Ground-type Pokemon, and I'm going to beat you down. So, here it is, guys. Without any further ado, we're going to be battling uh, Bertha, the Ground-type uh, Elite Four member right here. I almost said Gym Leader. What the fuck? And here she comes out with her Whiskash. Should have known that. This Pokemon right here is both a ground and water type Pokemon. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use this Parish Song on here and then switch out because, uh, remember, five turns. If those five turns pass, Pokemon faints. Both the Pokemon faints. But the way to get out of that is by, you know, literally getting their Pokemon out of it and put some new Pokemon in there. So let's see what we can do right here. Let's go ahead and switch them out and go to Shroom Lee. Yeah, buddy. Shroom Lee. It's been a while, buddy, and uh, here, oh wow, the, the, the Wish Cash coming out with his Earth Power, and uh, well, it doesn't take enough, it doesn't take anything, but there's the Sandstorm, and it's going to buff us just a little bit. So here we go, let's do this, let's go with the Seed Bomb, now did I say five turns, I mean three turns, my bad guys. So there we go, Seed Bomb, come on, finish him off, finish him, finish her. And it does its trick right there. So I really didn't need that Parish Song. I don't even know why I use Parish Song. So, again, Sandstorm rages on. And, uh, oh, crud. Okay, so she's going to be coming out with a Glide Score right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Nessie now. If you guys don't remember, I had Nessie back in Pokemon uh, Crystal. Uh, how I got him, or how I got Nessie here to Pokemon Platinum is very easy. Uh, actually, we're, let's see, let's see, Pokemon Fire Red, yes, Fire Red and Leaf Green, it actually finally worked, yeah, it finally worked, so it, I was able to transfer the Lapras from that, from that version to, you know, to this version right here, and there you go, hence Nessie. So that's another generational Pokemon that I've had, and look at that, the Ice Beam. Does it work? Will it work? Yes, sir, it does. Suck it, Gliscor. Suck it. Alrighty. And, uh, well, yeah, Sandstorm. Really do hate the Sandstorm. And, uh, well, she's gonna be coming out with the Golem, so I'm just gonna stick right here with Nessie, and, uh, well... 
Let's see what this golem can do. It can't do much, right? So let's go waterfall attack. And uh, hopefully that finishes that finishes off this Pokemon right here. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering, how come I didn't go with Hydra? I mean, I have four of those guys, right? Well, that was the plan. But again, the dynamic, like I've, I like I've talked about in Pokemon Leaf Green, it's all about the dynamic of uh, of uh, you know mixing mixing and matching typings and all that stuff. Uh, in Pokemon Leaf Green, me just adding Star Star You and Star Me just destroyed my dynamic right there. It didn't really go didn't really mix well with the kind of typings that I wanted to have on the team. That's why I switched it out with uh, Execumon, Execumon, I should say. Right here, having a flying and water, flying slash water type Pokemon didn't really mix well because, hell, I got a flying and fire type Pokemon, so why have two of the same Pokemon, really? Might as well go with the, with the Pokemon with an extra typing, like ice type Pokemon. That's where Nessie came into the picture, and yes, Nessie did a good job for me in Pokemon Crystal, and uh, well, would you look at that, Waterfall, can it do it, will it do it, yes, yes, ah oh, crud, nearly did it, okay, so, let's see, this guy's uh, recovering right here, and he's gonna be using his uh, Mega Horn, and uh, oh, crud, Yep, that takes out Nessie. Okay, so that that is the end of that. So let's go straight to the next Pokemon right here. Let's go to Shroom Lee. And I forgot to say this. Shroom Lee, we got him in Pokemon Emerald. Easy, easy transfer right there. And as you can see, Sky Uppercut for the win. There we go, Shroom Lee. Get it. And that is how you do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So who's next right here? He's coming out with the Hippodon. Wow. The Pokemon that I can't really translate its name. Hippodon. 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 I don't even know. So I'm going to be going right here with Toothless. And uh, this guy right here is just whipping up a sandstorm. But luckily for us, it's not going to affect us right here. So let's go ahead and finish this Hippodon with the Surf. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. You just go all the way down. Aw, oh, crud. And, uh, yep, this guy's going with an earthquake attack. Really, really didn't want it. I don't want it. Oh, crud. Come on. Stay. That's right. See, this is the reason why I chose Toothless. Now, you guys already know. Toothless, we got him right here in Pokemon Platinum. Now, the reason why I chose Toothless is mainly because of its dragon and ground type typing. Uh, <laughs> Toothless 136, I believe? is the one that uh, kept on nagging me. No offense, buddy. Kept on nagging me on, on picking a, a Dragon-type Pokemon to name it Toothless. And here it is. This is a, a pretty much a tribute to you for the nagging and all that stuff. So, thumbs up to you. Thank you for uh, letting me have this Pokemon. And, uh, yeah. Ground-type and Dragon-type Pokemon, it mixes well with this team right here. So, let's go on to the next... Uh, next person right here and here we're gonna be battling uh, Flint or Clint or whatever his name is Flint Clint Clitoris or something I don't even know so let's go ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon right now so first and foremost we got to revive that Nessie and then after that we got to heal everybody up remember guys stock up on a lot of healing items a lot of revives uh, if you guys haven't used your max revives uh, this is a good place to use them because you know, you will be facing some very, 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 very tough trainers, one being Cynthia. And, uh, well, this guy's being healed, and, uh, well, this guy... Okay, I lie. This guy's probably going to be the easiest one because he is all water... He's all flying type... Or, I lie. He's all fire type Pokemon. Easy. Easy stuff. So here we go, guys. We're taking on Flint. Afro Fire Thunder. If that make any sense, because this afro is so awesome. So here we go. He's coming out with his Hound Doom level 68, and I'm coming out with the man, the myth, the legend, Nessie. And uh, wow, he's coming out with the flamethrower. Of course, he's gonna be faster than us. So didn't really like that. Come on, don't die, don't die. And here we go. Waterfall attack. Now I probably should have. Uh, I probably should have given Nessie the the surf attack instead of waterfall because I believe it's more of a what, a special Pokemon? No, it could be a physical. Yeah, it's probably physical. Look at that. Easy. Fatality. Probably should have taken Noob Saibot. I wanted to take Noob Saibot, but you know what? This one right here, 
seems like it, it, it feels more of a redemption for Raiden, which I will eventually use. Uh, if you guys remember, in Pokemon Emerald, I actually used Raiden for like maybe 20, maybe 30 episodes before I got Noob Saibot onto the team. A Noob Saibot, or a Noob Saibot, of course, I, you know, served as the Pokemon with the elemental moves. You know, henceforth the whole me replacing uh, Raiden with Noob Saibot. So. This should be a this should be an interesting episode for Raiden, kind of a redemption tour for the Pokemon right here. And uh, well, right now Infernape versus Charizard, and yeah, Flint is not going down easily. Come on, man, come on, just lose, concede. That's right. And will it do it? Can it do it? Fly attack. That's right. Oh yeah, just go down. Come on, faint, you asshole, yes! And there you go, Infernape defeated. Alrighty, alrighty, okay, so everything's working out as planned. And uh, he's gonna be coming out with a Magmordar right here, so let's go ahead and switch back to our next Pokemon right here. And that is a Toothless, the all-star Pokemon. Now, let's see. Mort Magmortar, the evolved form of Magmar. How you can evolve evolve to get this Pokemon? You have to trade a Magmar with the Magmarizer in order to get this Pokemon right here. It's a pretty strong and tanky Pokemon. I think in Pokemon Soul Silver, my old Soul Silver, I think I had it, right? I could be wrong. I don't even know, guys. It's been a while since I've actually did those walkthroughs, so. It, it, yeah, it's been a while, so forgive me for not remembering a lot of these things right here. So, here we go, Earthquake Attack. Let's get this. And come on, just go down. And that is how you do it. Fuck yeah. So, that's the end of that chapter. And, uh, well, unfortunately, Toothless is a little burned at the moment. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be switching out our Pokemon. Hopefully, we don't need Toothless for anything else right here. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and, uh, take care of business right here with Rapidash. Okay, Rapidash, you a-hole Pokemon, you. What do you got? Going with a sunny day. So that's going to lower some of my attacks, both water and ice type right here. And, well, here we go with the waterfall. Rapidash, you bastard. Go down and crud. So Clint, he's, a. Uh, you know, he, he's actually battling me with everything he's got. Everything. God dang it. Man, I, I actually thought this guy was going to be easy, but look at this. He's just destroying my Nessie right now. One hit, KO, and this guy loses a huge chunk out of its HP. So that that's the perfect opening for me right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Raiden right here. Now, Raiden, I used this Pokemon in Pokemon uh, Emerald as well. And, uh, well, as you can see, Rapidash is not going down without a fight. After defeating my Nessie just like that, it's really, well, it's really up to Raiden right here. So here we go, Thunderbolt. Come on, finish him. Now, I could use Flamethrower on a Fire-type Pokemon, but I don't know if it's going to take the same amount. So I'm going to take uh, I'm gonna take my chances right here. And this guy is going with a fla Flare Blitz. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap. And just like that, Raiden gets raped by Rapidash. Oh, God. Okay, so that's two Pokemon. Okay, I got to hand it to Clint. He studied up a little, you little asshole Pokemon. So here we go, Relic. Now, where did I get this Relic? Relic, I actually had in Pokemon Crystal as my Psychic-type Pokemon, as many of you guys already know. I evolved him way after I should have learned uh, Psybeam and all that stuff. But I did teach him Psychic Attack. Now, in Pokemon, or in this game right here, Pokemon Platinum, you are able to get an Eevee. So all I needed to do was just, you know, get the Eevee, and grow its happiness in the light time, and then after that, boom, evolve them. And that was easy. So Relic, welcome to the team again, and come on, make your Flareon, or your, or your compat or compatriot, or whatever is it, your counterpart. Yes, your evolution counterpart. He, uh, faint right here, but this guy's using overheat. It's gonna use, it's gonna lose a lot of fucking uh, special uh, attack right here. So there you go. Yeah, he's blazing right now. So he's he's giving us a challenge right now. 
I probably should go for Psychic, but, you know, I just wanted to go for the typing thing right here. And, uh, there we go. Let's go for the Dig Attack. Let's get it. And there you go. Flareon is no more. Relic wins. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Looking badass right now. So there you go, guys. Another Elite Four member finished. That's three. Three Elite Four members. Holy crud. And, and this guy really challenged us just a bit. Again, never judge a book by its cover. This guy kind of uh, kind of got us a little. So what we're going to do right now is I'm actually going to, uh, not evolve, but, you know, revive some of my Pokemon. That way I don't have to, like, struggle against this next year because it is a Ghost-type trainer. Ghost or Psychic-type Pokemon. Could be wrong. I don't even know. Again, I'm forgetting a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and kill up my Pokemon. And, uh, well, Toothless, you've been doing such a great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use some Hyper Potions. Don't really want to waste the, uh, the full restores because, remember, we still got two battles left. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and use another Hyper Potion. Let's go ahead and use it to Relic right here. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You spelled Relic with the K, not with the C. I get that, guys. I completely forgot. <laughs> yep. Again, good old Draven is forgetting a lot of stuff. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so here we go. Another Hyper Potion to my good old buddy, Godzilla Godzilla. Alrighty. So I guess we used all of our Pokemon right here. Now... The important part is to finish everybody off, and uh, like I said, we got two more people to battle, and we got this guy right here. I think his name is Lucian, I think. I don't even remember. So let's go switch out our Pokemon right here to Toothless, and let's talk to this guy. Ah, your time to rival as well. I was just reading a book. Let me introduce myself. His name is Lucian, the Psychic-type trainer, and well, he is going to be battling us because he is the highest level of the Elite Four. Okay, whatever. So here it is, guys. Round two, battle number four. Nearly four, round two challenge. God dang, why do I keep on hitting that thing? Yes, against Lucius or Lucian, the psychic type trainer. And, well, he's going to be coming out with the Mr. Mime. So what we're going to do is just go with typing right here. Type disadvantage and advantages. Crunch attack. Finish him off. Yeah, buddy. Now, I could have used Alakazam. But it was a little bit of a problem with that. I yeah, I didn't I can't get him through trade or anything like that, so I decided to leave him out. I wanted to pick him, but I wanted to make it I wanted to make it legit where I actually have Pokemon that I can use, guys. Uh, legitimate Pokemon. And the only Pokemon that was not really legitimate that I got through trade through the uh, 3DS uh, game was Alakazam, so that was one Pokemon I can't use, or I couldn't use, so, yeah, kind of pissed me off a little, because, you know, I, he, he could be a, a, of, a, of a service right here, but, whatever, whatever, okay, so here we go, Godzilla going with the flamethrower, look at that, Bronzong, level 70, taking that flamethrower to its grave, that's right, Suck it, Bronzong. And look at that. Godzilla, Godzilla. Grows to level 84. And, uh, well, he's coming. He's going to be coming out with a Gallade right here. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with this guy right here because uh, he's got a few ass whoopings he needs a hand out. Gallade, level 75. Very physical Pokemon. Psychic type trainer and all, or psychic type Pokemon. But it also has fighting capabilities. So here we go. Fly attack. And, uh, well. Come on, finish him off. Don't be a bitch. Play it, finish him off. That's right. Critical hit. Defeated. Flawless victory. Yeah, buddy. This guy, Gila, is kicking some ass. Now, this guy's coming out with an Alakazam right here. So, I'm going to go straight back to the man, the myth, the legend, Relic. Because it probably does have Shadow Ball, right? It does. It really does. So, let's go. And he's like, what, he, what should he do? I've been kicking his ass with just one Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and use that Shadow Ball to finish this guy off. Come on. You got to go down, Alakazam. It's your time to go down. Oh, crud. Did not go down. And this guy right here going with an Energy Ball. Oh, jeez. Oh, crud. And, uh, well, let's see. More likely, yes. Here we go. Shadow Ball for the win. Yeah, buddy. 
it may have not been a sweep, but it was a dominating, uh, a dominating win for all of us right here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So there you go, guys. We defeated the fourth member of the Elite Four, Lucian, in, uh, well, in easy fashion. Holy crud. He was the easiest one. Okay, so we got one more trainer to go by, and that is our girlfriend, Cynthia. So what we're going to do is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. We already know which Pokemon she's going to start with, so let's go ahead and just, like, switch out our Pokemon. And, uh, yeah. Now, if you guys forgot, that first Pokemon is, uh, what was it? Uh, something Stone. I can't remember, but it's both Dark and Ghost type. So here we go guys, let's go straight to our girlfriend because she's been missing us for quite some time. So here she is, and uh, yeah, she's telling me about the looks, the challenges that we've overcome face, however difficult it means that you try and over everybody and you learn. So here we go, let's get this. She accepts our challenge for the Pokemon League Championship, and uh, for some strange reason, they keep on talking like if I've never won the championship before. So, here it is, guys, the final battle against Champion Cynthia. And here she comes out with her Spirit Tomb. Now, Spirit Tomb, as you guys already know, is both a dark and dark and ghost-type Pokemon, so it doesn't have any weaknesses. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to use its uh, Nessie's Parish Song to make it faint right away. And then what I'm going to do right there is I'm just going to switch out Nessie. So here comes that Spirit Tomb Dark uh, Pulse. And uh, holy crud, it took, it took a nice amount. Holy crud. Okay, so you know what? Let's go, ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and beat this Spirit Tomb up. Spirit Tomb is a very, very powerful Pokemon. And uh, yeah, I would love to capture one one of these days. I would, like, I would like for it to be a little bit easier to capture. But no, all the rare Pokemon you have to capture through special events. Good God. And, uh, well, we got two more on the uh, the whole Parish Song thing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to heal Nessie because that Dark Pulse is just kicking our butt right now. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so there we go, Nessie. You are getting healed up. And that is a lot of HP. Completely forgot how much HP it has. And, wow, this guy right here is using, or this chick right here is using the, uh, the Dark Pulse. So let's see. Ah, oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud. And that was a critical hit, so we got one more for that Parish Song. What we're going to do is I'm going to switch out the Pokemon. That way, Spirit Tomb faints first. Alrighty, so you're in charge, Raiden. Let's bring it. And, uh, wow, she, oh, wow, she is smart. Holy crud. Okay, so here she has a, a replacement right here. And she's coming out with her, well, she came out with a Rose Raid. So now, I'm going to go straight. Great for a flamethrower right here. And, uh, well, doesn't make it faint, but it's whatever. And here she comes out with a sludge bump. Good God. You see, this is why I like this girl. She is super smart. She just, like, she totally knew what I was up to. So here we go again with another flamethrower. And, uh, well, come on, make it faint. Go down. Oh, damn it. Okay, so here she comes out with an energy ball kicking my butt. Good God, Raiden. You are not redeeming yourself right here. Good God. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, we're kind of struggling just a little bit now, guys. She's a little... Okay, we're the first one to make Pokemon faint. And here she comes with her full restore. Oh, my God. I'm loving this battle right now. Not going to lie. So here we go. Flamethrower. Finish this... <clears throat> Finish him off. Come on. Go all the way down, you asshole Pokemon, you. And there you go. Oh, wow. Did it survive? It survived? Good God. And he... Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, crud. And here she is coming out with Milotic. Now, Milotic is a very, very tough water-type Pokemon because it can learn anything. It has ice-type moves. It has electric-type moves. You may never know what it comes out with, but most importantly, it has water-type moves. Now... This right here is going to prevent it from fainting because it's going to restore its HP every single time. So let's go right ahead and use this whole uh, Dragon Claw right here. Come on, make it faint. Jesus H. Christ. Oh, man, this battle has gotten intense. Oh, yeah, she wasn't going to let me win that easily. And look at that. She's using a Surf Attack and, oh, God. Super effective. 
and my Lodic not showing any signs of fainting right here. So what I'm going to do is go with an Earthquake attack. Come on! Faint, you asshole Pokemon! Faint! And come on! Good God! Oh God, no! And there's that Surf attack, taking away one of my best Pokemon on this All-Star team. God damn it! Okay. All right, you asshole Pokemon. She took two of my Pokemon away. Please do not switch any of your other Pokemon right here. So Shroomly taking his helm, and let's go with the Seed Bomb, and God damn it. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is kicking my ass right now. She took advantage of me right there and then. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Relic. Finish this bitch off. It's okay. It's on. It's on, guys. I'm getting super competitive right here. Alrighty, and there we go. Suck it, Milotic. Alright, so... We're not in an even playing field, but she does have two hurt Pokemon right now. And here she's going to be coming out with her Spirit Tooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the man, the myth, the legend, Toothless. Because hopefully this guy will get me out. And look at that. She's only got one Pokemon that's fainted. This is some bullshit right here. Major bullshit. Okay, so here we go. Surf attack for the win. Come on. Fink. Oh, crud. And uh, I don't know what... Okay, so Dark Pulse never looked more powerful with this guy right here. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so let's go right ahead and... Uh, you know what? Let's take a few hits and let's revive some of my Pokemon because I have a feeling that... Yeah, she's going to be kicking my ass for a very, 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 very long time. If I don't revive anybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to revive Godzilla first. And I'm just going to let Spirit Tomb hit me with a few Dragon Ball or Dark Pulses right here. And, uh, oh, crud. All right, so maybe I should attack one more time. So here we go, Dragon Pulse. Come on. Come on, finish him. Yes! Okay, now we're even. All righty. She's going to be coming out with her Garchomp. So this one right here is a challenge because it's Garchomp versus Garchomp. And this guy has Dragon uh, Dragon Rush right now. So we're the faster, uh, we're the faster Garchomp, and hopefully Dragon Pulse right here will finish this guy off. So come on, go all the way down, you asshole Pokemon! Come on, damn it! Ah, oh, jeez. And yes, she did stock up her Pokemon with like some berries. So this is like, ah, oh, crud. Ah. Uh... Cynthia, why are you doing this to me, man? I thought you loved me. I thought you, like, liked me a lot. You liked me like me, like in Hey Arnold. What the hell? Okay, so three Pokemon are newly fainted. So let's go back to Nessie right here. Yes, we are getting challenged right here, guys. Let's go. Ice Beam attack and crud. Oh, my God. Oh, dear God. We're getting our butts kicked right now. Holy shit. Maybe I should have overleveled my Pokemon. Why did I, why did I go all honest and just say, you know what? We're gonna just uh, bring back the Pokemon with the same levels that they had left them back. Oh God. Okay. Let's go. Oh Jesus Christ! You're gonna hit me first, you asshole. Oh God. Don't faint. Don't. Oh yes. Oh, and it flinched. Oh Jesus. Okay. So we gotta heal up our Pokemon right here. Jesus Christ. She's like unrelenting. Kicking my butt. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. It's okay. Godzilla is now is now uh, fully restored. And uh, I don't think this Garstrom... Yeah, he only has Brick Break, so it's not going to affect us very much. So what we're going to do... We're going to destroy you, Garchomp, with everything I have. So here we go. Dragon Claw. You missed, you asshole. So here we go. Dragon Claw for the win. Come on. Finish him. Oh, come on, I just made. <laughs> and she restored him, what the hell? <laughs> oh, man. What the hell? Ah, oh, Garchomp, you are an asshole Pokemon. Come on, go down. Ah, oh, Jesus, okay, so... This is gonna give me an opening right here. I'm gonna revive another Pokemon because... 
Mainly because, uh, yeah, Garchomp, or Cynthia's Garchomp doesn't really have a move that can actually make us go, or make us faint right away, so I'm gonna revive my Garchomp and just take a few hits here. Hopefully Godzilla doesn't faint right now. I really don't want it to. So, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and revive another Pokemon right here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any more full or, or max revives. I used them all, like, in other battles, I think. And, uh, ah, oh, crud, another Dragon Rush. Do not faint, Godzilla. Do not faint. Oh, you fainted. Oh. Okay, Garchomp. Time to play Fire with Fire. You're in charge, Toothless. Let's go. All right, Garchomp, time to eat this. Get this Dragon Pulse. For the win. Come on. Finish him. Yes. Suck it, Garchomp. Suck a fat one. All righty. So we're now in business again. And here she comes out with a Lucario. Now, she took away my fire slash fly flying type. So I don't want to risk it. Let's go ahead and use Earthquake because Lucario is still weak against ground type Pokemon right here. All righty. I think I have the advantage now, right? Do I? Come on. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So we're picking up, like, business has just picked up right here again. Okay. So here she comes out with Togekiss. Now, if you guys remember the last episode, or the last two episodes, I mentioned that Togekiss has been a little hard to beat because it's a very, very bulky Pokemon. Yeah. Cynthia's, yeah, Cynthia's Togekiss is no different because it will not let me win. As you can see, it has Aurora Spear. This move is a fighting type po uh, fighting type, uh, move that will not miss. And, oh my god. Oh yeah, we took that. We took that really badly. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to switch out to Relic right here. Now we're down to two Pokemon each. So let's go ahead and use Calm Mind and, you know, build up a little bit of strength before we beat this, uh, this Togekiss right here. And uh, this guy coming with an Air Slash, so hopefully it doesn't make him faint. Don't faint, you asshole. Come on. Get another Calm Mind in. Come on. Calm Minds. All right. And uh, here we have another Air Slash. Please don't let it be a crit. Okay, so eat this Psychic, you asshole. And come on. Go all the way down. <laughs> come on. Will it? Come on. Go all the way down, you asshole. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, God, Togekiss, why would you faint? And here comes that air slash attack. So, yes, I knew it. Cynthia, no, like, coming out with the full restore. All right. We're back to, uh, we're back to square one right here, but Relic does have a few uh, power-ups right now, so we're going to take advantage of it. We're going to hit it again and again, and hopefully it will not hit us with another air slash. Come on, go all the way down. Damn it. Okay. All right, and uh, luckily for us, Relic does have the Shell Bell on, so he keeps on getting HP every single time. And here you go, Psychic Attack. Eat it, Togekiss. And you guys already know what's left. Roserade, and it's been weak for quite some time right now. Whew! Oh my God, Cynthia. We need to fight forever. Good God. And she's like, I can't remember the last time I put, got put into a corner like this. Well, maybe uh, last night, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> and there you go. Suck it, Roserade. Look at that, guys. Relic came through for us after all. And uh, the Shell Bell is merely useless. And look at that. Relic rose to level 76. Oh, my God. Now, that was a freaking battle. That was a battle, guys. I, <laughs> I'm impressed. I am freaking impressed right here. Holy crud. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to read what she says right here. But you know what, guys? This, this has been a very good episode right here. I, oh, wow. Challenging enough as it is, I haven't used most of these Pokemon in, like, damn near almost a year and stuff. And, wow, she pushed us to the, to the brink. <sighs> oh, look at that. So here we are, guys, going into the Hall of Fame one last time in Pokemon Platinum. And uh, mm, Cynthia, you look so great. Telling us the Hall of Fame is ahead right here. And uh, Professor Owen, as always, will talk to us saying that I can't believe you won. 
So proud of you. You know, you guys already know the. You already, you already know what what goes on right here. And yes, we are not a child anymore. I am a grown ass man. <laughs> you guys already know that. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> so we're celebrating, and we're gonna just put our Pokemon in here. And uh, well, uh, most of these Pokemon right here are two-time Hall of Famers. Uh, Nessie, Nessie, Godzilla. Uh, Relic, uh, Raiden, and uh, what you want to call it, Shroom Lee, are two. They they won or they've been in the Hall of Fame for two different regions, and Toothless is a two-time Sinnoh Hall of Famer, which you know it, it is freaking awesome. So as you can see right here, we got Nessie. That's right, Nessie the Lapras, Relic the Espeon, Godzilla, Godzilla the Charizard. Who else? Oh yes, Raiden. Hasn't won a battle yet, but you know what? It is okay. <laughs> Toothless. The Garchomp. And Shroom Lee. The Breloom. And the man, the myth, the legend, your badass host, Draven. Two-time Hall of Famer. That's right, people. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we won. Oh my god, I would like to thank everybody who have believed in me and uh, the good lord Arceus and all that stuff. Oh my god. I am happy. Oh my god. Okay, so save my game. Seriously, save my game. Whew. Okay, so... This is where I make my final speech right here in Pokemon Platinum, guys. So... I believe we started this game back in July of last year, close to my birthday. Of course, there has been uh, there has been uh, some stoppages, some this, some that. I even thought to myself that you know this is going to be another Pokemon Platinum where we were going to last a year or so by completing this. But you know what? Uh, we you know we we went through the whole thing and you know. And here it is, guys, the final episode of Pokemon Platinum right here on my Gym Leader Draven channel. Now, uh, I'm very proud with the way everything went, including this right here, including the All-Star team, which was always the plan. I was kind of hoping that you guys would pick my team, but didn't really want to wait anymore, so still proud. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering, am I going to come out with the event Pokemon? Because I know some of you guys are thinking right now, wait, you forgot a few things here and there. Uh, why are you calling this the final episode? No, guys, I didn't forget. Those, uh, the event Pokemon like Arceus, the Regis, and Darkrai, they will be included in a separate uh, series that I will include right here on my channel. Uh, it's already in the works. Don't worry, guys. And that will be included with the event Pokemon from Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Emerald. So don't think that I forgot about any of those things, guys. It's still, um, you know, it, all of them are in the works and they will be included right here on my channel. The only reason I didn't include them right here in the main game is because technically the event Pokemon are not in game. Uh, hence the whole thing, me just capturing the regular Pokemon right here. So uh, that's all of that. As you guys already know, the next walkthrough will be Pokemon Black, and you guys will be uh, you guys will be surprised at the very first episode. I am planning on coming out with hopefully 10 episodes within the first week. That way we get a good head start, but you guys will be surprised from episode 1. Now, if you guys haven't chosen my Pokemon or my starter Pokemon for Pokemon Black, please do so. Comment down below or comment on the uh, the, uh, the intro video for Pokemon Black right here on my channel. Uh, I will be... Well, let's see. What day are we in? As I'm recording this right now, and, well, it's midnight. It's midnight, March 3rd. So this episode will be coming out a little bit today. Like a little bit today, March 3rd or whatever. Uh, the very first episode of Pokemon Black will be coming out on March 9th. Uh, that will be on a Monday. I will be coming back with Pokemon Leaf Green and finishing all of that up uh, pretty soon right here. Uh, so stay tuned for all of that. But the day you need to guys, uh, you guys need to save is March 9th, which will be the very first episode of Pokemon Black. Again, a huge surprise right there. Uh, thanks to the snack that we hit along the way. Other than that, guys, um, a few little things. I'm proud of this. I'm happy that, you know, the way this, this whole thing is ending. Uh, 
I, I put in a lot of work just to get this done for you guys, and I hope that every single one of you guys have been entertained by this walkthrough. Uh, trust me, we will be back on DS games uh, pretty soon here again after Pokemon Black and White, uh, because I will be doing remakes for Pokemon Soul Silver and uh, everything else right here, guys. I, I've been. I've never been this motivated before to, to get back into the walkthroughs, especially in a, in a 3DS or in, in DS games, like many of you guys already know that I don't like. Uh, but thanks to the, the whole snag that we hit, you know, it's, you know, fire has been lit up. So, <laughs> I don't think I have anything else to say, guys. Uh, instead, uh, instead of, uh, you know what, thank you guys for helping me uh, with the motivation. Thank you guys for helping me complete this whole walkthrough. Uh, I hope you guys are binging this, and I will see you guys next time for both Pokemon Leaf Green and on March 9th, Pokemon Black. See you guys.